Hello, everybody. I want to start off the day by saying Happy St. Patrick's Day. I've got my big corned beef brisket here. Trimming the fat off of it. And that's just how far I've got. Trying to get the fat off of it. And I'm going to put it in here with a whole bunch of water. Add my seasoning packet and make a big corned beef brisket. I've got carrots, potatoes, cabbage to go with it. So this is where we're at. And got that trimmed off good enough. And that's what it looks like. So now, I'm going to get this in there and get rid of all this fat. There we go. Pack it open. Okay, that'll make four cups. Six. Eight. And that's a pot of coffee brewing. Noises. Okay. Put our packet in. Oh, let's get the seasonings out. Put it over here. Some sea salt, very little. I actually wouldn't even do that. Glad I stopped myself. <laughs> There's plenty of salt in that. That's what all the water is about. Okay, I'll put a little bit of garlic powder. Got some garlic cloves. Break them up. Yeah, just put a few of these in there. Get the dry skins off of them. And I did mash it a little bit, and that's why the skin came off so easy that and then just let it cook in your corned beef and I think that'll be enough of the garlic put that in you guys get the idea and Put my big lid back on. Yeah, let's get a good look at that. I'll let that, mmm, got a bad shadow. I'll let that cook for quite a few hours. Put the lid on. Crank up the heat. 
and we're cooking. I'll get back with you with the cabbage and carrots and what else we're going to do. And just so you'll know, guys, this is the first time I've ever cut the fat off of a big chunk of meat like that. So, yeah, that was a task in itself for me. So, we'll be back in a little bit. I'm also going to put some of this dash in with my corned beef brisket, and it's the no salt. There, it's got car or, uh, all the seasonings in it. And there we go. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, I've got the carrots, cutting them up. I think that's probably enough. Except for those larger pieces. Okay, I've cut up a whole head of cabbage. Let's cut it up. Put the cabbage in there. from the brisket and with this water and seasoning in here this will cook down too so this will be okay and there's our cabbage and our carrots put a little of our dash on that bit of sea salt. And put the lid on that. Got water and just like a cup of broth from our brisket to flavor it. And there we go. We're on our way to cooking our brisket and our potatoes and carrots. There we go. It's already starting to smell good in here. Mmm. That meat is smelling good. It's a good one. Crank up the heat on that. And, that. and there we go. Put the lid on that. Look at this one. Oh, yes. Smelling good. All right. We're on our way. <laughs> 